welcome to this session. This session we are going to discuss or to answer the question, how do you get S in all your math units? <clears throat> so the biggest question is, is this possible? Is it possible to get all S in your math units? Or say not just math units, but all the courses we are doing? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. And let me give you tricks on how to achieve this. Now, assume you are doing, assume you have 13 units. And then these 13 units, your target is to get all S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, if you have never gotten all the S in your courses, if you have never been an A student in your high school, so this might seem to be an absurd target, but it's still possible. I'm talking this one from experience. What you do, if you write all your target in this form without some strategy, then you are not, uh, they, they might seem to be very abnormal or not possible if you have never gotten uh, S in all the subjects you have been. But this is how you can make this to be a reality. So, seeing all the 13 S and go to the spe specific uh, units. So in each unit, I want to assume that roughly maybe every unit has, say, Just an approximation, say four to twelve chapters. And then, if you have been a good student, you are expected to have attended most of the classes, if not all, but most of the classes. So, there's a high chance that out of the topics we are doing in any uh, given course, at least you you have. Say 60% of understanding of those chapters. So we'll have question one, question two, question three, question four, question five. Assuming a course has, say, six <coughs> chapters. So generally, the way they set exam is that. Question one is made compulsory, and then you choose any other two questions. Most of the university policies. So, out of these electives, usually every elective question is either one topic or two topics. 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 Assuming I use University of Nairobi scale. Where each elective question is 20 marks. And uh, this first question is 30 marks. Then, if you have 60% of understanding, then it means that there's a high chance you can get 20 over 30. And then, because you are understanding only 60%, so you mean that 40% of the topics are not well, uh, you are not, you don't understand them uh, very well in that subject. So assume your 60% will be in question two and question three. So say that out of 20, let me just get 15, 15 marks. So it means that then 15 plus 15, 
you'll have 30. And then 30 plus this 20, you'll have 50. And then so 50 over 70, assuming that still we are using the weight of the University of Nairobi, A starts from 70. So it means that you are only required only requiring a 20, a 20 out of 30 to get this in the coursework to reach 70. <coughs> and because of this one, this can actually be an approximation of what you're going to score this one here. So this 50 plus 20, you get your 70 of 100. And so therefore, <coughs> this 70 of 100 is the lower limit of attaining an A. Um, remember, I'm using the scale of 70% uh, to be an A. And then you convey the same to all the 13 units that you are doing. And then that target is the reality. That's how simple you can and get all the S without struggle. So you lower the targets in terms of uh, specific units you are doing. It's something that has also worked on me. So it can also as well work for you. Thank you.